Hi everyone, I am Chongwen, the physics instructor. In order to compare IB, AP, and ACT subject tests, it is important to know that IB is divided into SL and HL, and AP is divided into AP Physics 1, AP Physics 2, and AP Physics C, Mechanics, AP Physics C, Electricity and Magnetism. In terms of course requirements, IB Physics HL is most likely considered the most challenging as it includes the Group 4 project, internal assessment, as well as a possible extended essay, and easily requires the most hours learning as it, is, it has the broadest curriculum. Yet in terms of sheer difficulty, AP Physics C is the only course that requires knowledge and a firm grasp of calculus. And learning physical concepts in terms of integrals and derivatives will no doubt be a most challenging class a high school student can take. The ACT physics test is on the other hand very limited to easier multiple choices which are generally not considered as challenging. A common question asked by a lot of parents is if a student were to complete the IB course, would they be able to successfully pass AP tests or get a good scores in the SAT? And the answer is a very firm, it depends. If the student is able to complete the first three options of the IB curriculum as well as all the core initial material, it should not be a problem. But it is unlikely a student will study more than one or two options and as it stands, following the two major changes of the IB syllabus, it is no longer possible to get high scores in the AP and SAT examinations without at least a few extra lessons. The IB physics course syllabus includes all the materials in the SAT physics subject test and the AP physics 1 and 2, only if all the AP materials and options are included as well. And IB physics students would also have to make sure to finish all the AP materials chapters 9, 10, 11, and 12, as well as most of the options A on relativity and option B, engineering physics for the parts in thermodynamics and option C, imaging to round out the optics sections. Options D on astrophysics and chapter 8 on energy production are entirely unnecessary. to take the AP Physics 1 and 2 examinations, the additional requirements would be pretty much the same. That students would only need to add the sections on rigid body and rotational dynamics found in option B, Engineering Physics, to prepare for the AP Physics 1 exam. And for AP Physics 2, you can only add the section on fluid mechanics in option B and imaging in option C to, suspect, to successfully learn all the necessary concepts. Lastly, as with the SAT, chapters 8 and energy production on, and option D on astrophysics are wholly unnecessary. Moving on to AP Physics C, conceptually, it would be possible for the teacher to add the concepts that require calculus into the IB curriculum, but it seems unlikely due to the already strained time requirements and difficulty for the students. While both the IB and AP are similar in what they have in multiple choice and free response section, both organizations use very different styles for their exams. Um, the AP and ACT have multiple choice questions that can be basically divided into five types. Simple calculations, comparing the relative size of variables, finding the sentence that explains the answer, which row that has the correct statements in the table, and lastly, finding the correct formula given the situation. As such, AP and SAT exams do not contain a wide variety of questions. On the other hand, IB exams are known to make liberal use of any question type that may challenge the student's knowledge and understanding on the subject. IB questions will rely more heavily on solving equations with only one variable and make use of diagrams and graphs as options for the answers. The application of physical concepts is very straightforward and predictable for AP and ACT exams, while IB makes more creative use of new context to challenge the students. In a way, IB questions move away from the goal of standardization that the college board tries to achieve, and the same applies for the free response exams for both organizations. If I had 
had to order them from hardest to easiest. The hardest exam would be the AP Physics C exam. After that, the higher level IB Physics course. In the third place would be the AP Physics 1 and 2. The fourth place would be IB SL. And the last place, the most easiest, would be the SAT 2 Physics.